Hi and welcome to a new episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Basic Series. Today will be the first video of Melfi Sprite within this episode their anti tier laments combo. We have two combos that end on the exact same board, but get there differently. For the first combo we need a single nimble beaver, for the second we need a summonable level 2 monster plus Sprite Blue. So let's start with the first combo. We normal summon Nimble Beaver and trigger its effect to summon another beaver. We exceed summon both beavers into Gigantic Sprite. Gigantic will special summon Blue. Blue searches Jet. And after we special summon Jet, Jet will search Starter. Then we are linking away Gigantic and Jet into Elf. And let Elf resummon Jet. Before using Starter to special summon Red, Carrot was also possible. We exceed summon Blue and Jet into Melfi of the Forest. And use its effect to search Caddy. Before going to our end phase, we link away Melfi of the Forest with Red to summon IP Masquerine. And in our end phase, we use Caddy's effect to special summon itself and go to the next turn. Upon our first trigger, normal or special summon of a monster, we use Caddy's effect and make sure the toggle is set to on. As Chainlink 2 we use Elf's effect and Chainlink 3 IP. IP will summon with itself and Elf as father, Avermax. Elf will bring back Red, or any other sprite, and with Caddy's effect we'll search Penny. Then we'll use Penny's effect to special summon first itself, before Synchro summoning Herald of the Arc Light with Caddy now from our hand. Penny will resolve in a new chain, but when the toggle is on, can start a chain on its own search. If the toggle is not on, the effect will not be prompted. And that is the end board. Avermax cannot be targeted nor destroyed by card effects, and when attacked by a special summon monster, will gain its attack and it is the only suitable attack target for the opponent. Arc Light will banish all cards that were supposed to be sent from hand or deck to the graveyard, heavily countering tournaments. It will also function as an Omni Negate. The sprite is just fodder, or a starting point for next turn. The second combo we normal summon Carrot, or any other normal summonable monster that we would have, so we can special summon Blue, and use its effect to search Jet. Then we'll special summon Jet and search Starter. We exceed summon both Blue and Carrot into Gigantic, and use its effect to summon Red from deck. Then we'll link away Gigantic and Jet into Elf. Use Elf's effect to bring back Carrot. Next we'll use Starter to summon a sprite from deck and then exceed summon Melfi of the Forest with Blue and Carrot. We use Melfi of the Forest's effect to search Caddy and link it and red into IP. And lastly, in the end phase we'll special summon Caddy. The opponent's turn will play out exactly the same, so I'll skip that one here. The main difference between the two combos, aside from its starting point, is that the latter combo has both red and carrot in rotation. One can be summoned from Gigantic, the other from Starter. This may have some implications in the grind game. This deck is versatile in its combo lines and can play through negates relatively well. Obviously, your board may take a hit, but usually not a major one. Since it needs a trigger to start, you can be a little late with the synchro summon of Arc Light against Tears. They could have already milled a couple cards before it is on the field, an inherent weakness of this deck. Furthermore, this deck has some room to run quite some hand traps and responses to the opponent's hand traps. This is even more apparent in decks that have cut a large part of the Melfi engine in their deck lists. Speaking of deck lists, I am using a larger Melfi package as can be seen here. However, as said, you could run a similar version of this deck with more hand traps and less Melfis as shown here. I just like my Melfis. And there you have it, thanks for watching and hope this will help you beat tears in the future. Cheers!